Going on Fish Heads, Jen Kravasi, Jekyll Bates at Full Shed Studios. Today, we are going to recreate a masterpiece. This is the Guggen Squad blooper, and we are going to make a glitter bomb bass. So as you saw in the beginning of the video, we have three cool, fun, different kinds of glitter. We've got green, gold, and silver, almost like a holographic disco ball in a cup. Mixing them together real good. Now I don't, I might be a little bit out of my realm here because this does take some skill. And I've never tried this pattern before. I've seen it done successfully one time. I just pour it on. That'll get it done a lot quicker. You know, the more sparkles, the more uh, fish will want to eat it. This would attract more leprechauns than uh, actual fish. Oh dear, look at that. That's pretty sick. I like this. And I'm really excited about doing this for you guys this morning. I think it's going to be an excellent fish catcher. So the first thing we're going to have to do on this side of things is to get these hooks off. Now these little Texas Tackle split ring pliers work very well. They're very easy to use and have quickly, over the last year or so, become my favorite of all time. I've used lots of different types of split ring pliers. Some of them work really well. Some of them don't work really well. After doing hundreds of thousands of pairs of split rings, and sometimes even more. I gotta tell you, this little orange, you can see how worn it is. This little orange pair of Texas Tackles, awesome, lifesaver. The other thing that um, kind of signifies authenticity are these Guggen Squad eyes, and we're gonna take those off too, very gently. Most of the time there's a little drop of super glue, or it's just the, uh, the clear coat that's keeping these eyes on. So you wanna go straight down with your knife and then gently pull underneath of them, and a lot of times you can get those up no problem. We're just going to set these off to the side. They're intact. There's no issues. Super happy about that. We're going to secure them really, really well after we're done. But again, just go straight down on the eye and then gently pull from the underside. Just get your little pen knife or whatever it is that you're using. I would recommend a duller blade pen knife, something that's fairly thin, but that will get the job done. Don't use an X-Acto knife. There's too many sharp edges on that and it'll have a tendency to really cut into the paint. So we're going to use this paint to our advantage because glitter looks really, really good on this. It's that bright Guggen green and black. This pattern by itself is called Nightclub and it is a fish producer. So in order to pull this off properly, we got to first put this into some helping hands. Now for this one, folks, we are going to use a flexible adhesion promoter. This is a bit of a primer. Some people say it's not. I say that it kind of is because it kind of gets everything to stick to it. It's going to stay a little bit tacky, so we're just going to put a few drops in there. There we go. And just coat evenly. Get the whole thing. Coat this. This is the Gore's Bloodline. And you can see there's already glitter sticking to this. Don't even have, this is almost an effortless pattern. Or is it? Just a nice coat. We're gonna keep it tacky. We're gonna give it a quick heat set, but we're not gonna dry it the entire way. Now I think what I'm gonna do, since we have some kind of tacky adhesion going on here, scientific words, we're just gonna loosely sprinkle some glitter across the top and the sides and the back. We're just kind of shake that off and then do the bow hill. Let's just do this. Let's drop that sucker on there and just roll it like we were making dough. And I'm really liking the way this is shaping up, but I just, I don't think we have enough glitter on it yet. Comment below as to how much glitter you would put on this thing. I mean, it's such an elegant pattern. Now we're gonna do one more rolling process. I'm loving it. 
I'm loving it, Ryan. This might be my favorite pattern of all time. And this is, it's just staying on there. This is amazing. One of the final steps before we clear coat this bad boy is getting these eyes back on in place. Now I've got some super glue here. And we're gonna add just a little bit. Now I feel naked without baking soda. I feel like somehow we should work some baking soda into this. But we're just gonna carefully put this eye back on. Ah, oh, that's it. That's it. We've got both eyes back on. We have glitter all over this mother and we're ready to put it in clear coat. So the last part of this process is we need to get clear coat on this thing and not make it fall apart. Bring our little hook wire through. Pinch that down real good. And then we're going to need one on the other side as well. Act as a drip wire. So all I'm going to do is just cut one in half. And we'll use this after we've finished. So let's see how this is going to turn out. Well, it might be safe to dip. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot coming off. So we're going to risk it. Just dunk the whole thing in. Bring it out. Now we don't want a bunch of clear coat in the mouth of this bait. So. Bring it over our trash can. Let this excess drip off. And then tip it back over. Bring it over to the rack. And let it dry. <laughs> this has definitely been one of the more lighthearted videos I've done in quite some time. I had fun doing this. Um, absolute blast to transform this Gookin Squad blooper from nightclub into a glitter bomb bass from Fisher Yen. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you want more helpful tips, follow me. <laughs> this is Jen Cravassi. I hope I've been able to teach you some stuff. We did do it the right way though. We used this Createx Colors Flexible Adhesion Promoter from Bloodline. It does act as a bit of a primer. Um, basically it gets stuff to stick to things that it wouldn't normally stick to. So this is great if you have surfaces that you need to recoat and paint. Added some, I don't know, three, four colors of glitter and just had fun with this. And I think we're going to be able to catch some fish with it too. I know that Ryan did. So I hope you've had fun and I will see you guys on the next video. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates at Bullshot Studios.